Mr. Pearl, Thank you so much. It's so nice. Je suis très confiant. Hein? I can show you around. That'd be great. Thank you. Bom, nós estamos aqui no Rio de Janeiro e eu vou conversar agora sobre o filme Chance ser pelo seu nome com o Rodrigo Teixeira, que é produtor, e o Luca Guadagnino, que é o diretor do filme. Hi, how are you? Good. Hi. Uh, well, first of all, I want to say thank you for this beautiful movie. I was very touched about him, about it, and uh, I thought it was it began with a, a production about James Ivory. It's how was to work with him. James and I were very dear friends, and he's a, he's a friend. It's like uh, working with the person of my family. Yeah. He, we 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 found one another in my house for a long year. He was coming in Italy. I was going to New York, and we thought about how we would have made this movie. We tried to make it with him as a director, but unfortunately, that version never happened because of how it works in the marketplace. And eventually, we tried to make a version that was yeah. smaller, more tiny, teeny, and with me, and he blessed the choice, and we went on. So what do you do around here? Read books, transcribe music, swim at the river, go out at night. Sounds fun. All right, later. And how this partnership with Rodrigo came up? This is a long process too, because we started meeting on a different idea that uh, I had to, to make a movie from a James Roy novel, and uh, um, I had already uh, heard a lot of uh, good stories about RT features, Rodrigo's company, and uh, um, unfortunately that thing didn't happen for many reasons that we don't need to tell now, but uh, it, it stayed at the wish of keeping working together. So. I think you passed on the ivory version. Yes. He's the cruelty of the market. Yeah. <laughs> and but then when he heard that I was doing it, he said, oh, "I want to do it because I want to work with Luca." I think we, we met in New York uh, uh, two or three years ago, in, and we chit the chat about the movies. Yes. We, we chat about other movies also. Oh. Luca is also a cinephile, and uh, we connected talking about a lot of movies and uh, conversations about movies in general are great. But Rodrigo, uh, you start producing films here in Brazil, and. Yes. Uh, slowly you became to uh, get involved in other productions, foreign productions. What this production kept your attention? Why? I think I, I, I like to go in films. Uh, I have a, I have an expression, an American expression. I'm uh, I'm director driven, and uh, if I like a director and I uh, appreciate the work, and uh, I like to be in touch and make the films with this director, I'm much more director driven than actors driven. Yeah. And uh, if the most successful films I make, and it's not a big an actress, when I make Frances Hagrid, a girl is not a big an actress until that time. Yeah. Uh, on the which is non actress now, Anya is becoming bigger. Very big. And uh, Chimote is an upcoming uh, actor. Just watch, this is how we'll say goodbye to us when the time comes. Later. <laughs> Meanwhile, we'll have to put up with him for six long weeks. <laughs> Well, if I was were a producer, I, I, of course I was I would get to involved in a movie of Luca Guadagnino because <laughs> you were responsible for all, one of my favorite movies. I love, I'm love, I'm love. Eu sou l'amour. Eu sou l'amour. Yeah, I love that movie, and it, you can uh, capture the, the importance that the beauty has to you in this movie as well. It's very important. The, I'm the not concept sure. I'm, I'm not sure about beauty. I think beauty is an overrated concept. Lots of beauty is in the eye of the beholder, you know. Yeah. What's beauty? In uh, in this movie, I think it's the blissfulness of summer that envelop these two boys into an ideal. Who needs to relax? Later. You should relax more. Let's talk about these two boys, Army Hammer and Timothy. How, how do you get to them and how was to work with him? Well, I, I met uh, Timmy a few years before when I was trying to make the movie as a producer but not as a director and he was introduced to me by his agent and I found him striking because Timothy has something that I love he's very ambitious Yeah. and his ambition is design. not to be famous his ambition is to be great and that is something that... But they're that both are great in the Of course, of course, of course, of course but it's a different attitude and Army instead is somebody who has... Uh, I think he, he has this... He presents himself in a very buoyant and kind of golden boy way, yeah. but I see in him 
turmoil, an internal turmoil that I am interested in taking off from him.